Today, I'm inviting you to join me while I pour, swipe and paint probably my favorite subject in the history of my channel. Not only that, I'm also going to make the biggest blunder ever. Ever. If you would like to watch a much extended version of this episode and many more, you can join my amazing Patreon group from just two dollars a month. Our colors for today. Do you think that's a lot? How many colors do you think they are here? You probably would be surprised because they are only... Oops. And this is white. So we've got burnt amber, burnt sienna, pearl, 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 pearl copper gold. That's a mouthful. Pearl copper, pearl copper, pearl copper. <laughs> pearl copper gold. Naples yellow. And as I said, white. And these are all intermixed except for this one. Now this one is, is bronze. And this one is burnt sienna. I actually love a good swipe and I thought I haven't done it for such a long time a proper swipe with a paper towel you know my my kind of style first of all we need a background color for the paint to glide on once we swipe and for this I prepared white oh by the way I forgot to tell you so what's in my paint and how I mixed it one part of paint, one part of floetrol, one part of my pouring medium, which is water and PVA glue together. And then I sprayed some water. Let me spread the white. I don't want tons, but enough to cover the whole painting. I might touch the air bubbles because they are quite a lot. You can probably see them better at this angle. So... You see how they pop? That's so satisfying. On the other hand, you don't want to torch for too long because you don't want your paint to get dry. Okay, and now I might do something before I apply the paint. I wanted very roughly to sketch where I want my image to be. So that's kind of a... Of course, we won't see that much, but at least I'll know what I'm doing. So, this is really just showing direction. All right, decisions and colors, of course. Which color will go where? Hmm. Oh, by the way, I haven't decided which color is going to be or silicone, you know. So, we'll have some beige here because this will be the lightest part. And of course the background will not stay white, so no worries. Okay, let's apply now the other ones. So there will be some darker sections. I'll definitely need more paint here. At the moment, I don't even know what color I want to swipe with, you know? I haven't decided yet. I don't want many cells on the face, so I'm thinking maybe I won't add any cells to this part. What do you think? Just to the main? Has anybody tried that before? Poured lion like this. I really wanted to do a lion for a long time. I wanted a roaring lion as well. That's a nice color for the swipe. Maybe I should leave it for the swipe. What do you think? I didn't even use this. Whatever this is. Well, that might be good just for around the mouth. I'm imagining the lion, however, <laughs> I don't know how to proceed at the moment. As I said, because I picked this one for my swipe color, I'm going to take a little bit and I'm going to add silicone here. This is coconut hair serum, not coconut oil, nothing to do with coconut oil. It's a Dimeticon product and this is supposed to create cells. Mixed well. I am thinking of spreading the face a bit. This is my tissue paper. Clean water. So that's the... Ah, oh, still some cells. There was no silicone, but paint does all kinds of mysterious things. The nose going somewhere here, up to here, 
obviously I don't want it so perfect, but I wanted the face to be left alone in a way, you know, if you know what I mean. And this here will be... Oh, it's a bit too dark. <laughs> Those bits lighter. Let me let me fix it. Of course, I can I can play some more. You know, I can just. Please don't worry, don't worry, don't judge me at the moment. I know it's looking weird. I do know that. Wanted this section darker. There will be, of course, some darker sections here as well. I'm not liking. Uh, just not, not seeing roughly what I want. <laughs> I think I might leave it like this and then we are ready for the swipes. So uh, the hair. Okay, water. And now I will be dipping in the silicone. Yay, so pretty. <laughs> My only worry is that we won't see much of the other colors, will we? Another container with darker color and yes I definitely <coughs> should have put more of this underneath because both of the swipe colors are pretty dark so I am adjusting putting one more here and maybe some thinner stripes as well it's going to be very messy on my table now And now this is even worse. Sorry, I'm being very fussy. Still, this burnt sienna, I think, looks a bit better. Let's wipe. There's not enough yellow, and it should be. Now you see why I wanted this in a specific shape. I really wanted it around like a, imagine a sunflower. That was my idea. I want to add a bit of a darker color here without silicone. So I'm going to add a drop of silicone to here on my table. Ah, I'm only going to swipe this again. How come? So many cells. And I'm going to swipe with this gold now over dark sections. That should give us some different effect. Okay, darker here. I might leave it because I don't want to destroy it, you know. The last thing, I probably will add a bit of this light yellow to the very top because this section should be the lightest. All right, shall we torch it a bit? Well, my lovely friends, I am so upset by what happened with the camera and that you couldn't see the cells coming up, growing in front of your eyes. I've decided to rectify that. I'll do a close-up swipe, the same colors, the same mixes, just here so that you can see. I'm going to apply same liony colors over here and we are going to swipe piece of toilet paper. How about that? It doesn't matter really. Make it moist. Ready, ready. Do this. And... Now you tell me this is not satisfying. Oh, this is so good. Oh. So that's what I did. And they're still growing. I'm not even torching them. We've got plenty and they'll be still growing. Okay, I hope I'm forgiven now. Let's go back to the video. Oh, look at them. They look like, <gasps> these are little eggs. Look, hard boiled eggs. Little touch-ups with 
all the leftover mess. Some streaks darker, for example, or lighter. I think I am, at the moment, I'm happy. Leave it to dry and then, yeah, then I have to think what to do next. This is in the morning. I wanted to show you how much it's drying and obviously I know it's going to be drying much longer than when I used the hair dryer. All the edges, see that? They're already dry. I just wanted to show you some close-ups of the cells. I'll show you how silly I was. I looked at it in the morning and I thought, okay, we've got some wet patches here. Can you see that? So I thought, well, it's still not dry. But, of course, I forgot. This is the evening, like 10 hours later, 12 hours later. And then I, it dawned on me, of course, I was using silicone. Look, this is just the oil. So what do you do? I personally wash it off with a soapy sponge. I was planning to create my own stencil, but what I was going to say that there are so many online and if you prefer to do it this way, you can find something royalty free or buy a cheap one. There are so many ways. But then I had a thought and I remembered my Arabian horse that you guys liked so much. And I thought, well, let's go full on and take a brush and try to make this lion look more realistic. Did I mention that I want a crown? Yes, I want a crown. I want him to have a crown. It's going to be a royal. As usual, I prefer drawing on a piece of paper. <laughs> Let's just say this is baking paper. And then on the canvas, because I really don't like rubbing it off 10 times and I'm pretty fussy, so I've already rubbed off certain sections like three times so far. Uh, I don't want to draw a detailed lion. I want nose, the eyes, so I want to know where to position it accurately. I am going over with thick or 2B pencil so I can transfer those images here. Test it here. Of course my face is probably not, not perfect underneath, however we can do it. By the way, yes, it is going to be in reverse. I taped him so he doesn't move. And yes, I know some sections won't be so easily seen, but you can always see the uh, pencil lead in the light. As long as I have the main lines, the nose, the mouth, the eyes, I'll be happy. I don't bother with the other ones. Oh, yeah. Look at this! <laughs> this will be different, don't worry. I will, I'm going to fix the, the mane. Yes, this is just a swipe at the moment. The first thing I'm going to do, I want to lighten up this area. I don't mind some of those cells on his face, so I might leave a bit section around the eye. Should definitely be lighter. A little touch and it really the face kind of comes alive doesn't it under the eye it's almost white i think beautiful animals i love cats generally cat all cats domestic cats wild cats i actually love all animals i'm i'm a crazy animal lover if you don't know that that's yeah that's me at some point in my life i even wanted to be a vet I wanted to be so many things, actually. I think the last bit I'm going to darken here because uh, this creates a wrong illusion. I wanted my lion to have a crown, but I made one too small, so now I am copying the same one. But I thought, oh, I need to put the crown in place first, and then I know how to uh, draw the strands of his mane. Oh, lion. How is that? Yeah, that's much better. See, this one was like really tiny. That suits him much more, doesn't it? I wonder if you can see that. I mean, I can. Because of those, all those cells, it's quite, I think, quite difficult. But I can see with the close-up. Because I am intending to put some hair in front of the brown, I'm going to rub off some sections. 
like I like this part so I want the hair strand to go here so it will probably make sense if I paint the crown with white first of all so you can see better and then of course when I bring the gold later on it's going to stand out more on the white so a little bit of white in a nutshell I want to leave the nicest strands of the mane possible on top of the crown uh, forgive me my dirty hands we were printing today with my youngest class so black ink I was trying to wash my hands thoroughly I do apologize and this is what we have at the moment and yes I know they look like snakes <laughs> because I haven't added any other strands of hair so it's at least you know what I wanted finish but I am so tempted to do the eye that's a bit of a sharper look I might start with the crown now I think I prefer this this gold to the darker one. Oh, it's just hardly seen so I'll quickly go with one more white layer because this is semi transparent we need the other eye black the outer part of the eye black as well I'm mixing it with a bit of brown, not to make it too harsh. Now, the whiskers. This is going to be interesting. I suppose I should make some some marks like this. I am quickly outlining that. I like doing it. I understand that not, it's not everyone's cup of tea. I'm thinking, you know, I, I could do an, an easy version of a lionette using a stencil. Um, I wonder if anybody would be interested. I made a video just a swipe with a simple stencil so you don't have to, to do all the painterly bits I will do the crown now the white is all dry I thought first maybe of adding gold leaf but then after long deliberation I thought no this is a serious thing a lion with gold leaf was <laughs> I don't know I just thought I wanted a real crown painted properly gold leaf is lovely but just doesn't sit with me this time I was going to add some pink to his nose but I am using white and burnt sienna and that gives me this fleshy color and I think it's more can I say liony I don't want a kitty cat um, so I might proceed with this now the biggest decision I've been asking people at work today what about the background should I leave it white or should I make it black I might actually go with with black you can purchase some items with the image that you like any image on my I don't think I've ever said it because I'm not a good salesperson I'm actually pretty bad at such things but there's lots of merch that you can buy with any one of my design and if it's non-existent in the shop send me an email and I'll put that design on a particular product whether it's a t-shirt or whether it's a, a wall print or I don't know a mug or a bottle you know, gym bottle I think it's actually a, a very very good design for you know for very, so many products now the whiskers I want them really really thin so we press a bit at the beginning and then, yeah, like this. Look at this. Yeah. I thought that I was going to make the background black first and I think I wanted black, so <laughs> it's going to be black. I was deliberating choosing white or black background, but in the end, I kind of like the white, you know? with this white accents here so what i am doing instead of painting all the bits black i am using a very small brush and creating more of a feathery or feathery i wanted to say fairy effects <laughs> not feathery it's not a bird i don't know if you if you think that should have been black maybe perhaps there were some advantages for both but in the end 
I don't think I've made many paintings on white background, to be honest. This is the relaxing part for me. No more struggle, no more uh, trying to make it look good. Uh, just relaxing and listening to something. Well, there we are. I'm super happy with this one. Honestly, I'm almost embarrassed, but I am so happy with this lion. And I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments. Also, I would like to know whether you would like me to show you an easy swipe with just a template, a stencil of a lion, maybe roaring lion, maybe sideways. So please let me know. So yeah, that would be fantastic. If you'd like to join my Patreon from just two dollars a month, you can watch a much extended version of this episode, plus much more. Thank you so much for watching. See you all next Saturday. Bye bye.